everyone and welcome back to another episode of Shade TV. My name is Marissa Hill and today we are going to be looking at K-Swiss's Port Shoe in four different colorways. Let's take a quick look. everybody to another unboxing and review if you're new to the channel welcome be sure to hit that subscribe give this video a thumbs up at the end if you enjoyed it feel free to leave me any comments or questions you may have at the bottom also hit that notification box we have a ton of heat coming out that i don't want you guys to miss out on as well as feel free to check out our membership tiers we've got some great perks on there for our members as well as our merch store so as mentioned earlier this is going to be a k swiss video I'm so excited to talk about the port shoe. This is one of my most affordable shoes that I have currently in my stock of sneakers. And I'm so excited to go through these shoes because I think they are perfect additions for the springtime, for the summertime. And I have four different color variations to show you guys. So starting off with the overview, we're gonna go through each different design as well as the women's versus the men's. Talk about some sizing and fit, followed by how I styled each color away in my own way. That's what we'll conclude with. So let's jump in with the overview review on the port silhouette. We're going to pick up the navy colorway to start. So the port is a unique play on K-Swiss's yachting heritage. So this takes from the K-Swiss America's cup shoe and it is a classic vulcanized silhouette as you can see here at the bottom where the midsole is. So this is mainly made from textile. So definitely can feel that canvas material going on on the medial and lateral side of the shoe. And it also works its way to the heel and the toe box reason. Uh, did I say reason? <laughs> to the toe box region. Wow, cannot talk sometimes. So the pour is literally sitting on top of this vulcanized midsole with double rubber bumpers. And the outsole features the brand's signature herringbone brick thread that we're used to seeing on the K-Swiss silhouette. And the tongue has just nice woven label going on there. And we've got some other woven labeling for the K-Swiss branding on the side there as well. The navy colorway I think is just a great simplistic color scheme that's gonna basically go with everything and anything. And it has just simple, nice accents of red going on throughout. And it comes with just simple white laces, which I think is just the perfect colorway to go with this specific color and tone. This navy is in the men's version, for those of you who are wondering. Um, the only woman's version that I have currently is actually the tropical floral print. I absolutely love the tropical floral print as well, uh, but before we actually hop into that, I just want you guys to see a quick little overview of the detail shots on the navy color scheme.
so now let's move into this tropical floral print which this is a woman's variation um and i just i absolutely love this this is just such a cool color scheme for the springtime it's got cute little flamingos on the canvas with just nice kind of leafy flowers in blue and green and it just gives it this nice different kind of textured look with that floral pattern on top we've got the baby blue on the tongue there for just a nice simple accent on that woven tongue again the baby blue on the case was accent to the side and some nice baby blue treading here on the midsole this is just a nice variation, I feel like, for those of you who love wearing prints. I think this is just a great option on the porch. All right, so now let's take a quick detailed shot on the tropical floral print. All right, so moving on, let's go to the black colorway. So this is the men's variation and obviously black and white is going to go, go with absolutely everything and anything. So this also has an Eva sock liner inside for extra comfort, which is quite nice. Again, this does have that kind of boating, yachting feel to it, which I love having just a nice comfortable shoe that I can really rock on the beach when I'm walking on the boardwalk or even if I'm hanging out on a boat. But I think that this is just a nice versatile shoe that you could also wear in the city. If you're going out with friends somewhere, you can really dress this shoe up. Uh, but this is just a great option if you're, you know, really looking to just have a color with it's gonna go with everything and anything. And this one has just black laces. That's the only difference in the lace tone between the navy and the tropical floral print. Uh, again, we've got just some nice accents in white on the woven tongue here, as well as the case was on the side with that nice, simple white midsole to finish it off. Now we are gonna finish off with the most classic color scheme, which is the all white with accents of navy. Again, we've got that vulcanized midsole with nice, just simple navy accents. Again, just that crisp, nice, clean white lace system going on there. And then we've got, again, just that standard nice case with logo that's woven in. And we've got it's in a blue and red color scheme. So the white definitely is going to go with everything and ev everything. I mean, this is definitely going to be my go-to kind of spring summer shoe because I know that I'm going to be able to wear this with basically everything and anything. All right, so now that we've gone through each of the colors, let's talk about sizing. So the navy black and white colorways are all in the men's sizing. So I would say stick true to size. I am a men's 7.5 and that translates to a woman's nine, which is the size that I got in the tropical and floral print. So definitely if you have just narrow, thin, high arched feet, that will be perfect for you. Again, if you do have have flat feet that are wider, you may have to change up the sizing for the fit on this shoe. All right, so now let's finish off with styling. I had so much fun styling each of these shoes. I chose one look for each of them, starting with the white. I wore a Ghani plaid printed, just spring summery dress. And the white obviously does not take away from a very printed look. And that's kind of why I decided to go with the white shoes because I kind of wanted to, them to be the backdrop in this specific color scheme since that Ghani dress just has some bright pastel fun colors that I wanted to play with and the white just really worked so well with that first look. And it also, you know, works with a dressier kind of theme and in that sense that was a more dressed up look. And I guess love to watch the way you made me into a mess. Hands on my dress, neon red You were everything I didn't need until you left Now I'm dancing around my living room I get drunk on the thought of you and I When you were mine See your eyes in every stranger I replay the way that we were till I'm high No, it's not right I miss 
for the next look, I also wore another dress, but this time in a floral print, and that was a dress from Zara. But this time it was a black and yellow printed dress that had some nice ruching on it. And I think that the black just worked very well since that was kind of the base color scheme in that second dress's colorway. For the navy, I dressed it down, made it a little bit more casual, and I decided to go with just a simple denim romper. And I feel like light denim just goes so well with this navy color scheme, specifically with those nice red accents as well. And you know, if I wasn't wearing a romper and it was a cooler day, I would probably have worn some light skinny jeans as well that I think would have gone great with the navy color scheme. The last and final look, this was the shoe that I kind of wanted to make a statement. So I wore a splendid matching sweatsuit with a just beige crew neck and some nice beige sweatpants to go. And this literally was the statement piece. I think that, you know, with wearing this kind of tropical flower print, you just definitely want to go with some more neutral color themes and something that's not as patterned so that you're not really competing with the pattern on this shoe. And so that's why I thought that that kind of sweatpant look worked perfectly. Cut overhead And I guess I love to watch the way you made me into a mess I miss you, miss and be like you used to, yeah, like you used to Let me know in the comments down below what was your favorite colorway out of the four options that i showed you today also what was your favorite look out of the four let me know in the comment box down below the stays alive and touch the sky yeah till it's over over in a minute we're sober we want to live and die for love we know
All right, so that's it for this unboxing and review. Again, this is a very affordable shoe, you guys. I haven't mentioned it yet, but these shoes retail at $50. And I know that sneakers can really be quite expensive. And sometimes, you know, you wanna have variation, but you don't want to break the bank in doing that. So K-Swiss offers just such great options of shoes with different patterns and different types of silhouettes. And I think the port silhouette is just a great simplified shoe that is going to work throughout all the seasons. And as we're coming into the warmer seasons, I think that they have done such a great job with different patterns and great textures with the canvas. And so if you guys are looking for an affordable shoe, definitely hit the links down below and grab yourself a pair of the port silhouette and any of these colorways there's also more options but um these are definitely some great picks that i was able to style for you guys all right so again if you're new to the channel be sure to hit that subscribe button give this video a thumbs up if you haven't already and hit that notification bell because we have a ton of heat coming up that i don't want you guys to miss out on as well as be sure to check out our membership tiers and perks this is shay tv my name is marissa hill we will catch you on the next episode